Hey everyone, it's Priscilla here. I am doing a video response to Crafty Adriana's birthday giveaway challenge. Um, number one, you must be a subscriber. Um, number two, you must make a birthday card, do a video response, and send it to her for five entries. Now you also have to have the color pink in the card. And you can make any kind of style card. She likes all different styles, so it's up to you. And then for um, additional entries, for 10 additional entries, make her an altar item, send it with the card, um, and do a video response for 10 entries total. And then the prize is $35 gift card to um, either an online store, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, that kind of thing. Um, I believe it ends either August 5th, August 1st. I'll double check and I'll write it down in the description box below. Now I decided to make her both an alternate item and a card and I didn't realize till after when I started looking at other people's uh, creations uh, um, that um, that someone else also made this. So sorry uh, Adriana, I guess you can have two of these. But for the card, I decided to do this. Um, I hope you like it. I was trying to figure out um, which we call it. I wanted to use my Cricut because I haven't used it in a while. So I used my Cricut. It was um, Rock Princess to make the cupcake. Um, and then the papers, the background paper, as well as the little cupcake, um, the bottom, was from the Sweets Matte Stack from DCWV. Um, what else is there? I also used Flatback Little um, Pearls in Pink on the cupcake as well as the very bottom of the card. I also used... Um, like a little ribbon kind of flower that I purchased on uh, eBay. It was like a pack of, I think, 25 or 50 for like a dollar. And then I used some of this lace trim, in which I just recently purchased not too long ago from Hobby Lobby. And then also these uh, pearls, it's like a clear kind of pinkish pearl kind of trim as well, which I also purchased from Hobby Lobby. And I used um, some pop dots to pop it out, making more 3D. And then um, this little kind of bow, like pearl kind of bow, I also purchased in um, eBay for like, I think it was like 25 of them for a dollar in different colors. Really cheap. So that's the outside of the card. Oh, and then in the very bottom, this um, decorative punch was a Martha Stewart decorative punch. I purchased that like years ago, like five years ago. So that's the outside of the card. It says party time on the little banner, and then the bottom it says happy birthday. And then the inside, I kept it simple. I just used um, some cardstock papers in different colors to match somewhat the inside of the card, I mean the outside of the card, to bring out those colors. And then I just, just for you, kind of stamp it. I'm just going to write a little sentiment in there. So that is the birthday card that I made. And then the altered item, I had this for a while, and I've been wanting to um, alter it for the longest, so now I had a reason to do it, and I love how it came out. This is my altered item for you. It is the giant pink um, clothespin. So what I did was it's also from the same pa the paper was also some, uh, from the same paper pack. It was that sweet matte stack from DCWV. So I used that in the background. I used some flat back pearls that I purchased on Zibit from my Paper Passion. Um, I did like a cluster of flowers on top in light pink, like a minty kind of green, and then like a darker pink. And then I also put a little key kind of charm in there. And then in the bottom part, I did like a bigger flower, paper flower, as long as the same little flowers. And then I also added some of this, this was from like a trim kind of flower. Uh, I forgot where I purchased. I think it was Craft Supplies 1 on Zibit as well. And same thing with the bottom with the uh, flatback pearls. And then in the inside right here, this was an epoxy sticker. It was a Haiti Grace epoxy sticker. And it says, a laugh. <coughs> Excuse me. A laugh is a smile that bursts. And then it says from Mary H. I uh, can't even see it. Waldrop. So yeah, that's the outside of the card. And then I also put a stick pin. This I did not make. This was a swap from Crafty Gal 32. She gave me a, quite a few stick pins and I've been using them. And I love them. So I stuck that in there too. And then the back I kept it simple. I did the same paper with the flat back pearls. And then a little cluster of flowers at the very bottom. So I hope you like it. Um, I love this. I actually want to make one for myself now. 
now I'm into these. Uh, actually, uh, have some orders in for this as well. Even guys wanted some of this, which is hysterical to me. So um, I'm gonna make some more of these because I think it's really cute to put on your desk. So um, go check her out. Like I said, the giveaway, I'm going to find out exactly when it ends, but I know it's sometime at the very beginning of August, and I'll put it in the description box below. So thanks, everyone, for watching, and take care.